In this section, we will be looking at the history of documentaries. This will include looking at significant people such as the Lumiere brothers and the impact they have made on the documentary genre. We will also be looking at the range of documentaries such as the moon landing, which still splits opinions to this day. Arrival of the Train is one of the earliest actuality documentaries by the Lumiere brothers. It was filmed in 1895 using a 35mm film camera called a cinematograph, which was both a recorder and a projector. The film didn't have an audio, instead a piano would be played while the film was being shown, changing tempo and melody depending on what was happening on screen. The brother's second film followed in the simple footsteps of his predecessor and filmed a short snowball fight, which incidentally was also the film's name. In 1914, World War I broke out and the world found itself locked in the biggest war it had ever known. People from all over the world wanted to know what was happening in the war and whether their side was winning or not. So the government decided that it would use actuality films to record what was going on overseas and bring the footage back home. Both archive the events to show citizens how their country was holding up. An example of this is the footage from the Battle of the Somme in 1916. Manic of the North was filmed in 1921. By this point, people were starting to get more ambitious with their ideas concerning film, but some of these ideas were too ahead of their time as technology caused many constraints. This led directors to fake films such as Nanak the North. Two other examples of faked films include Cheng and Grass, both of which followed the same template of Nanak the North. By 1936, there had been a massive advancement in film technology. Audio could now be captured as well as film, meaning that silent movies would become quickly of something of the past. Clear control. An example of this is Nightmill, which was an information film about how Nightmill sorted and delivered every night. One of the people who worked on the Nightmill film was John Grierson, who was the first person to dub the phrase documentary. The world once again broke out into war during the 1940s. Both Hitler and his allies knew that the use of documentary could be used as propaganda to break the spirit of the enemy or encourage the war effort for their country. Hitler used propaganda for his political gain to spread the word of his fascist empire. There's no scientific proof. That England used propaganda to encourage his troops and homeland to glorious victory, whereas Soviet Russia used propaganda to mock Hitler and his political standing. In 1966, a new form of documentary was made in the form of the Battle of Algiers, a mix of informative documentary style with a new dramatised recreation of the events portrayed to tell the story of the battle. The film was also banned in France and created controversy in others. In 1969, mankind took their first steps on the moon and this historic event was recorded in the form of an actuality documentary. The space race was a massive political incident, as both Russia and America wanted to claim to be the first to be on the moon. The space race was won by America and they used it as a political tool to show Russia and the world that they had a superior technology and ultimate power over the world. As creativity and ambition grew, documentary also grew with controversy as Nick Broomfield did in 1998 with the documentary Kurt and Courtney. The documentary investigated the death of rock star Kurt Cobain and the allegations of Courtney murdering Cobain. This brought Nick into a massive battle with fans, family of Kurt Cobain, Courtney herself and many others. This was banned in many countries. Louis Theroux is one of the generation's favourite documentary makers as he challenges cultural ideas or exposes otherwise unseen areas of society. Theroux is always trying to challenge the ways he tells documentaries through his unique ideas and presenting style. Fahrenheit 9-11 is one of the most successful documentaries to date. 
Its budget was $6 million and it raised $222 million at the box office alone, which is a huge feat for a documentary, let alone a film. On the first day of DVD release, it sold over 2 million copies, which set a new record for documentary DVD sales. The film also received the People's Choice Award, which is highly unusual for documentary. It also received a 20-minute standing ovation at its first showing. Today, documentary pushes political standings in a new way. As the documentary's control has moved from the state to the individual filmmakers, as anyone can now get a camera and film a documentary to show their political views about topics to the world. Directors such as Broomfield, Spurlock and Michael Moore have led the way to make documentaries a political tool to the worldwide audience. Documentary will be pushed further and controversy shall follow it. The history of documentary has only begun. So happy, cause today